Hi guys, due to popular demand and New Year's resolutions, we're bringing the stretching videos back and I'm so excited to share my updated stretching routine with you guys. This is the one that I do almost every single day. I definitely encourage you guys to do it too. It helps to lengthen, elongate, and just make you feel good about yourself because at the end of the day, that is exactly what stretching does. Um, but hopefully it's easy enough to follow along. If you guys have any questions or special requests, there's the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and joining me. center looking down and over to the other side and then now you're going to tilt your head back carefully to not strain your neck and over to the other side and just do this head roll once or twice going one way and the other way and now we're going to do the exact same thing assisted with our hands you're going to go to one side you should feel a nice stretch along your neck and upper shoulder area right here. Now you're gonna take both hands and you're gonna put pressure on the back of your neck, just resisting a little bit to give yourself a nice little stretch downwards over to the other side. And going back, you're going to focus on keeping your elbows out to each side and your shoulder blades locked as close as possible together and coming back to center. Now we're going to move on to shoulders. You're going to do three big shoulder rolls backwards and three big shoulder, words, shoulder rolls forward. Now we're going to take one hand and we're going to tilt over to the opposite side of the room just a little bit because at this point of the stretch you'll still feel a little bit stiff. You're going to come back to center and do the same thing the other way. Extending as far as you can to the opposite side of the room as if there's a string kind of pulling your fingers. Coming back to center and going again to the first side. And this time you're gonna go a little bit further. Coming back up and over to this side. Coming back up. And then one final time, this time you're gonna go as far as you can. And coming back up. following your hand or your gaze in your hand. Okay, coming back to center, you're going to put your legs further apart. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're going to put this hand behind our back and go even further. Coming back to center and doing the same thing over to this side. Now we're going to lean towards one leg, just giving yourself a nice little stretch along this side of your body. You can bounce here for a few breaths. And then now you're going to open your arm out and just extend it to the opposite side of the room, bringing it back up and reaching your fingers forward. Here you'll start to feel the stretch in your hamstring as well. Elongating as if there's a string pulling your fingers and coming back down. Now here in the middle, you can bend your knees if that feels more comfortable as you're just going to rock here for a few breaths, shaking out. This should feel really nice on your back. And then we're going to find ourselves extending to our other side of our foot. Bouncing here for a few, and then bringing our arm up, extending over to the opposite side of the room, and coming back down. And now just walking our hands out and extending forwards like this. Here we're starting to work out our back muscles as well to help form them up so we can deepen the stretch. And coming back down into center, just going to wobble from side to side for a few breaths. 
and then coming back down into the middle. You're gonna bend and you're going to lift bone by bone by bone with your head and your neck being the last to rise. So throughout this stretch, I want you to be mindful of always having your shoulders down as if there's a string pulling your head up to the top of the room and just focusing on having your core tightened, your glutes tightened, and your knees extended. Moving on to our lower half of our body. We're also gonna be working on our balance a little bit. So you're going to lift one leg up and squeeze your knee as close as you can towards your chest. Keeping your core tight, your shoulders down, your toe pointed, your whole body should be intact and that will definitely help you balance. Then you're gonna take your knee and you're going to shift it over to the side. Here, just opening up your hips and bringing it back to center and down. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite leg. Squeezing it close towards your body for a few counts. Then slowly bringing it over to the side. Squeezing it as close as you can towards yourself. And then back to center and down. Now we're gonna do some mobility. So we're just going to do three counts of opening up our hips one way, three, and the other way. And then now we're going to do the same thing on the other foot. This will help warm your muscles up and help deepen any stretch that we do for all of them. All right, now moving on to our knees, we're going to put our hands on our kneecaps. And here we're just going to do three counts one way. If you start to feel your knees cracking, that means they're working. <laughs> three counts the other way. And then now you're going to extend your body out towards the front of the room and back up. To finish off our standing stretches, we're going to curl our toes under on the mat like this. You should feel the stretch in your point muscles. If your toes cramp up at any point, give them a little break and stretch them the other way. Just doing that a few times back and forth. And then on the other foot, each time you kind of rock back and forth, you want to feel the stretch being a little bit further, a little bit deeper. So now we're going to do some stretches on the mat. First, you're going to walk yourself down into downward dog. Here, your hamstrings might still feel tight, so you're just going to walk your feet out for a few counts. Back and forth. Next, you're going to Position yourself on the balls of your feet, on, on your tippy toes. You're going to bend your knees and you're going to push your chin towards your chest and away from the mat. So here you should start to feel a stretch in your upper back and shoulder area. Staying here for a few counts. Pulling your neck close towards your knees. And then straightening out your knees, curling your head under, and finding yourself in plank. Here you're going to slowly lower your knees and find yourself in a child's pose. So you're going to just stay here for a few counts, extending your hands towards the opposite side of the room, remembering to keep your shoulders down. And then you're going to walk over to one side of the room, crossing your hands and just deepening the stretch in one side all along here. You should feel it. And then coming back to center and doing the exact same thing the other way. Deepening the stretch along your side. Now we're going to come back to our knees. And here we're going to do a few counts of cat and cow. This is a mobility stretch that will help with your back flexibility, but also just shoulders and overall posture. Pushing away from the ground when you look down, chin towards your chest, and then up towards the ceiling. Now you're going to flex your feet, find yourself back in downward dog. Here we're going to slowly curl our head under, 
Flatter yourself and plank again. Then we're going to bend our knees and we're going to find ourselves in downward dog. Then you're going to lift up, sorry, in um, child's pose. Then you're going to lift up into downward dog and do the same thing a couple times. For the more advanced version, you can incorporate cobra. Coming down into a wave. Here you should feel your whole body engaged and stretching out every little muscle. Just doing this for a few counts. Now you're gonna find yourself laying down on the mat and we're gonna do three waves of cobra or back stretch, whatever you wanna call it, with your head being the last to rise, pushing away from the mat, up, and back down. Be mindful of your toes being pointed the entire time while you're doing this. Coming down and going a little bit further with each wave. Perfect. Now we're going to lift up and we're going to find ourselves seated. Here you're going to just wave your legs or your knees Open for a few counts. Rocking from side to side. <laughs> then you're going to take one hand and you're going to push it on your knee and you're going to resist and just open that hip up a little bit, pushing away from it. Then you're gonna come back to center and do the same thing on the other side. Pushing away from it. Doing great, you're doing great. I love the stretch. I love it. Action. Okay, we're going to come back to center and then you're going to take your other hand and you're going to push on your other knee, pushing your body away, just really deepening the stretch in that hip. Okay, coming back to center. Now we're going to extend one foot out to one side of the room, keeping the other one bent like this in butterfly, keeping your toes pointed throughout this entire stretch, remembering to be mindful of that. You're going to reach your body towards your toes and then you're going to lift your arm to that side of the room and just stay here for a few counts, bouncing, kind of deepening that stretch slowly. You should feel it along your side, but also along your hamstring and under your knee. And remembering to keep your knee as straight as possible, as flexed as possible the entire time, because that will help deepen the stretch. Now coming down and extending towards that leg, you're going to come back up. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other leg. You're going to reach towards that side of the room, towards your toe, having your gaze follow your hand, and just stretching here for a few counts, a few breaths, for as long as you feel you need. Coming down, extending forward, and coming back to center. And for the last stretch that we're gonna do, this stretch often gets neglected, and I feel like a lot of people don't include it in their stretch routines, but again, we're gonna focus muscle right here along the back of your leg and on the point muscles. So what you're gonna do is first, you're going to bring your knee up, and you're going to curl your toes on the mat like this, putting pressure on that point muscle that comes up from your toes all the way up. You're just gonna stay here for a few counts. If you wanna alleviate some pressure from your toes and put it more into this muscle, you can angle your leg downwards like this. And then giving your toes a little break, you're going to put your foot flat on the ground. It won't, your heel won't touch the ground, but now you're gonna shift your body weight forward onto this knee, putting your body weight forward and feeling the stretch on the opposite side of your leg. I'm gonna turn this way so that you guys can see better, but you should feel the stretch all along this side of your leg right here. Just rocking back and forth, and that should feel really nice. Now we're gonna do the other side. You're gonna bring your toes up, curled under the mat. 
You can give your toes a break if they cramp up ever. Just feeling the stretch all along here. Remembering to breathe because the more you breathe, the deeper the stretch will be in stretching. And then now shifting your body weight onto your leg. I'll go this way so you guys can see. That should feel really, really nice along the back of your foot. And then coming back and just shake your legs out. Have a great day. Bye.